We all have goals and the gym's the best way to get that done. But sometimes it becomes monotonous, mundane, doing the same things over and over again. Well, you can create variation. How do you create variation? By changing up how you align your exercises. I'm gonna show you quite a few antagonistic and protagonistic. Don't worry about those two words. I'll break it down all throughout this video. Antagonistic one coming up. So here's the antagonistic motion to the back workout I just did. I'm gonna do my chest now. Why? Because while my back was at work, my chest was just chilling. It's nice and fresh. Let's get into it. My chest is at work now. The trick here is, what do I do? Do I superset back with chest? Do I do all back first and then do chest workouts? It's up to you. This is where the variation of fun comes in. Keep the body guessing so it's always responding. So I'm gonna go with tricep along with my biceps. But because I'm 6'3", kinda tall, my center of gravity is much higher. So sometimes when I'm trying to use some good weight, my core gets tired. How do I fix that? It's easy. Do your tricep motions on your knees. Now I'm focusing on just the back of my arm. My core is getting tired in the meantime. I'm gonna do an antagonistic workout. So between this tricep, I'm gonna go into a bicep motion. Sometimes we're in a crowded gym, it's hard to really keep two machines. So keep the same machine, just make it work for you twice over. So the exact same bar I use for an overhand position for my triceps, the antagonistic workout, which is gonna be bicep, I'm gonna drop the cable to the bottom. Now I'm doing a bicep curl. While my triceps are working, my biceps are just chilling. My biceps are fresh and ready to go now. So keeping in step with the antagonistic workout, I'm gonna do shoulders with legs. Why? Because when my shoulders are working, my legs are just chilling. Antagonistic setup. Okay, from here I'm gonna go right into my actual leg workout as a superset. Quick little 45 second break in between those supersets. So here we go. The other side of things, a protagonistic superset. That means while one muscle is being worked, the other one's partially getting involved. So since it's already been taxed, let's go ahead and finish it out. This is what I'm talking about. A back workout along with biceps. The back will cause the bicep to be tired to a degree. Well, let's go ahead and put some more bicep behind it to really finish it out. Here it goes. Lat pull down with the bicep curl. So the primary mover with that back motion was my back. The secondary muscle was the bicep. Now, with the superset of doing actual bicep, the primary is the bicep. A serious pump comes real quick this way. You don't believe me? Look at my biceps. Woo. All right, 45 second break before I do it all over again. Let's do four sets of that same superset. All right, so keeping in step with the idea of being protagonistic, here's another example. I'm gonna go into an actual dumbbell chest press, but I'm gonna couple it with triceps. The primary motion here, the primary mover, the primary muscle are my, my chest muscles. The secondary are my triceps. Let's go for the primary now. All right, now we go to the tricep. Cable tricep press down, superset it with the dumbbell chest press. Again, I'm just variating my workouts from week to week, month to month, so as to break the monotony of the same order of operations. 45 second break it is in between that superset. So another one I love to put with each other, protagonistic workouts, our shoulder presses 
with side dumbbell raises. My workout partners hate when I do this, but I love it. It's one heck of a pump instantly. Shoulder press with dumbbell. And don't worry about going too heavy because trust me, this superset is gonna set those deltoids on fire. You won't be pressing maximum poundage this way, but don't worry about it. This superset is adequate, well enough to get a mean pump in those shoulders. All right, so from there, I'm gonna immediately go into a side raise. I'm gonna grab these for just that. Directly into a side shoulder raise. Deltoids on fire. Again, you won't be using maximum poundage this way. That's perfectly fine. Your joints will appreciate an occasional break. Woo! 45 seconds before you run it right back. What's going on guys? Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to see our previous videos, click here. If you'd like to see more videos, click here. I'm out of here.